Hey guys, and welcome back to this course on the introduction to Scratch. We're finally going to get to make our own first project. It's going to be a very simple project. We just have a fish in the sea moving and saying hello. But it's going to teach us a couple of things. We'll be able to change the background. We'll be able to add a new sprite. We'll be able to program our sprite to do something. So the first thing you want to do is start a new project. Or if you want to continue from where we stopped, that's cool. I'm just going to start a new project. Now we're going to be going under the water. So let's change our backdrop. So I'm going to come here and choose backdrop from library. Now you can look for any backdrop here, but I'm just going to go to outdoors and then I should find something like underwater. So I'm looking for underwater. Yes, underwater three. Good. So select that and say, okay, cool. Can you see our backdrop has changed? That's very easy, right? All right. Now a cat does not belong under the water, except it has like <laughs> something to breathe with. So we're going to delete this cat. Now there are different ways we can delete a sprite. We can either right click and choose delete or we can use this button right here. So it says delete. So I'm going to click on this button and then click on the sprite that I want to delete. Delete. Voila, it's gone. Cool. Now we're going to add a new sprite. So let's add a fish. I'm just going to go to animals and look for fish. Let's choose, hmm, which one should we choose now? Let's choose fish one and then say, okay. <laughs> now that's a very big fish in this water. So one thing we can do is to reduce the size of this fish. Now, if you look here, we have two tools that can help us. One is to grow, that's to make it big. And one is to shrink, that's to make it small. So I'm going to choose to shrink and I'm going to click on the sprites that I want to reduce the size. I'm going to click it as many times as I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I think I'm okay with that now. So that's fine. So now we're ready to make the fish do something. So let's make it move, right? So I've selected the fish and I have under motion, I have moved 10 steps. So if I take this, now if I want to see what this block does, all I have to do is press this block. Now keep your eyes on the fish and notice what happens. Did you see the fish move? Yeah, the fish is moving. Ha 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 ha. Now let's change the number and see what happens. Let's say 25 steps. Yeah, so it moves further. Let's go to 50 steps. Aha, it goes further. Yeah. Oh, now I've lost my fish. Now, if you just lose your fish, all you have to do is drag it by the tail and drag it back to where you want. Yeah. So I'm going to take this back to say, uh, yeah, let's leave it at 50 steps. Yeah. And then we want something else. We want the fish to say hello for two seconds. Now, if I come under looks, I can see this block here. It says, say hello for two seconds. I can actually edit what is in this place. I can type anything I want, but I want to say hello. So I'm going to take it and snap it under here. So now the fish is going to move 50 steps and then say hello for two seconds. I can also change this time here. So let's see what it does. Yeah, did you see that? So it moves 50 steps and then says hello for two seconds. Let's change this and see what it says. I'm a fish. Did you see that? I'm um, a fish. So that's very cool. Now let's add one more thing. Let's add sound, right? So I'm going to take this sound and put it right here. Now if I click on it, it's going to move 50 steps, then say I'm a fish for two seconds and then play the sound pop. Did you hear that? So the order in which you arrange your script is very important. It's going to go from top to bottom. So move 50 steps first, then say I'm a fish for two seconds and then play the sound pop. Yeah, cool. Good. Now we can actually change the sound, right? So if I come under sounds, instead of pop, let's choose something else. So it's a fish. Yeah. Hmm. What should we use? Uh, what, what will a fish say? Actually, let's look for something like, okay, let's see. Bubbles. What does bubbles do? Yeah. So bubbles is like is under the water. Yeah. Good. So let's choose bubbles. Okay. Yeah. And now if I come back under script, I can choose bubbles. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. So this has been our first project. Yeah. All we have to, all we have done is to move the fish 50 steps. We let the fish say something else where uh, we can change whatever the fish is saying here. We can change the time it's saying it for, and then we can play any sound. So what I want you to do now is to play around with the sound, play around, add maybe different sprites that you want under the water, 
change the backdrop if you want, play around with the sound. In fact, under the sound, you can actually record if you have a mic on your computer so you can record a new sound or something like that, yeah? So just have fun with it.